so your friends over at CBC. Uh, yes. Hey, hey, hey! It's uh, John Kirk here with, with Duncan Bureau from uh, Air Canada, VP Global Sales and Distribution. Duncan, welcome to our first one-on-one -on -one mobile uh, edition with TravelPulseCanada.com. Well, thanks for having me, and thanks and, for coming down to Oakville. And this guy is so busy, it's Sunday. We're actually doing this on a Sunday, and it is, uh, what time is it? 3.50 on a Sunday afternoon in beautiful downtown old uh, Oakville, and well, things are just hopping. It's a busy village, so thanks for coming to Oakville and hanging out with us. Well, thanks for coming into the... Uh, to the mobile studio, man. Well, we never stop working. So Air Canada, Air Canada is uh, just coming off a huge bumper here. They got this, they read the other day ten year um, high on the on the stock value. Yeah. Like what what is up with that? Well, you know, I think it just shows that the plan is working, and so uh, the plan that the executive team and the board laid out over five years ago all coming to fruition, the delivery of new aircraft, the growth of the markets, uh, the consistent delivery of profitable quarter after quarter, uh, growth in terms of revenue, growth in terms of passengers carried, uh, and consistent delivery of EBITDA, I think is giving the market confidence that, uh, you know, the value of the stock is uh, it's undervalued. So uh, we're starting to get closer to where we think uh, reflects the value of the company. Where did it close out? Uh, that was a very good, thorough answer, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? What did the, uh, what did it, because that was after the to uh, Q2 results, right? What yeah, did it close out the so other day? So it closed day? out around 1975, last time I looked. That's incredible. If you got in there back in the days when it wasn't uh, performing that well, well was that you, made a good, you made a good bump on that. I can tell you the stock is uh, appreciated over 1,900% now. Um, you know, there was a time when it was trading at 88 cents uh, versus today where it's trading at 1975. Wow. Unbelievable. Yeah, so Kalen and Ben have done a phenomenal job. Now, um, network growth? Yeah. How much longer can you guys keep this up? I mean, I know that my, my new thing with Duncan or Duncant, she with the can do attitude, the Duncan, <laughs> but that's a like that's pretty intense. I mean, you've got every time we look, there's a new route being launched and there's a new uh, announcement coming out, or there's new um, uh, inaugural flights that you're planning. Yeah. I know you, you're in. Uh, Mumbai the other day when you're yeah, over Canada Day. Yeah, I celebrated Canada Day in Mumbai with a typhoon. Uh, yeah, with a typhoon <laughs> coming through at the same time. So how much? But how much longer is that growth sustainable? There's got to be a, a saturation point. Well, you know what? We grew 28 new markets last year. We're growing 20 markets this year. Uh, we've already uh, introduced over 11 of them so far this year. Uh, we have more to come. Uh, the delivery of the new aircraft and the capability of the new aircraft just keep giving us options that we didn't have before. So, um, you know, I don't think you'll see 20 or more markets being introduced next year. I think it'll flatten out in terms of growth, but uh, certainly over the last four or five years, you know, we've grown um, the size of WestJet since 2009. So if you look at our revenue in 2009, we were about $9 billion. Mm. Uh, this year we'll be uh, over $16 billion. So, wow. in fact, it's almost twice the size of WestJet when you think about the total revenue growth. Is there um, is there any scoop on any other new secret destinations you're working on that you can give us a little uh, heads up on here? <laughs> Not yet, but I'm looking forward to uh, coming in your car and uh, talking about a new destination. Maybe I'll invite you on the inaugural. How's that? Well, I'd be happy to attend. You know, make sure we give it the right coverage for agents to see. Uh, so your friends over at CBC. Uh, yes. You win. You win the airline of the award from the Sky Tracks, and I worked at uh, I worked at Porter Airlines before, and I. We had won an award when I was there, and it's a re it's a celebrated uh, award. We were really, really proud of it. It's a huge achievement. And then uh, CBC, we felt compelled to do a story on it because CBC just sort of questioned whether or not it even was valid or the, the you know the whole wow. process. They questioned it all. What is up with you guys and CBC? Well, I think the CBC sort of treats Air Canada as their punching bag, and they have for a number of years. The fact is, uh, you know, Skytrax is a very well recognized uh, organization globally. Uh, Air Canada has, has been recognized six out of the last year, eight years as the top North American airline. Nothing has changed, uh, yet the CBC now decides that they're going to question the, how, how, how valid 
uh, a uh, survey that really is. It's pretty disappointing to be uh, to be honest. I'm not sure that they question any other airline in Canada uh, who gets recognized by any other organization. So uh, again, it's disappointing that CBC finds it necessary to uh, disparage our national carrier. I think a healthy Air Canada, uh, profitable Air Canada is good for the Canadian tourism industry. Um, you know, our growth is continues to deliver significant growth in visits to Canada huge growth at Vancouver Airport who won an award recently. Uh, Van Toronto Airport continues to grow at uh, phenomenal rates and a lot of that is funded by the Air Canada growth, our investment in new assets and our investment in growth. So about being proud and uh, taking great pride, we actually, with the LGTBQ uh, community, we just launched a, a dedicated section within TravelPulseCanada.com. Yeah. We think it's very, very important for agents across the country to understand how to sell to that audience, and uh, so we've we believe that there's a, a, a good rationale for us to be heavily in, in, involved and committed in that community. Yeah. And you guys, Air Canada, it was incredible. You had a huge crew out at the uh, yeah. at the parade. I think you had your your own float and well staffed. What, what's is that something that you're taking a core interest on moving forward in, in terms of uh, focusing on that community from uh, from a sales? Well, sales perspective? You know, I, I wouldn't say it's new. I would say that obviously we have 30,000 employees uh, around our entire network, uh, many who belong to that community, many who are incredibly proud uh, of their uh, relationship with Air Canada and their employment with Air Canada. You know, they want to celebrate and, uh, as they should. And so we uh, are very supportive of that parade and quite frankly I, I unfortunately I wasn't in town otherwise I would have been there um, you know we had that's uh, that's my question are you gonna be there next year at the front of the parade with absolutely. Jamie and the whole crew there uh, yeah absolutely <laughs> you know what I I think it's important for us as the leadership group uh, to be very visible in all of these um, events and whether that's uh, this community or any other community uh, we serve all communities in our Canada and uh, it's an inclusive employee uh, employer uh, we've won accolades for being inclusive uh, and, and diverse uh, employee base and this is just another community that we're very proud of uh, who work with us every day at Air Canada. Well thanks very much for taking your time out of your day on Sunday because I know you're leaving tonight you're traveling again you travel more than how many miles do you think you did this year? <laughs> just, I'm just curious <laughs> I know, how I many know, miles? I think I'm probably a million miler by February. Do you have the status that you need at Air Canada? I'm <laughs> good I'm good yeah. okay <laughs> all right thanks very much pal. All right, buddy. appreciate Great the time you. Thank, thank you, you. and uh We'll, uh, we'll look forward to doing this again. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this little one-on-one uh, -on -one with Duncan here. And Duncan, not Duncan. Exactly. <laughs> See you later. Have a great day. Bye-bye.